All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on page, I, let's see, we're actually page six. I know it says page seven, but it is the one point perspective. So please turn to that page. You are going to need a pencil. Yes, a pencil with some kind of eraser um, and some kind of straight edge. It could be a ruler. It could be one of the plastic triangles. It could be anything as long as it's straight, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to create in one point perspective. Then I'm going to give you a couple of more things to draw, and then you're going to upload this into Seesaw, okay? So to start off, we are gonna create our side walls, all right? So how we're gonna do that, so you're gonna connect this corner with this corner. Hopefully it'll go right through that dot, okay? One, oh, nice. I'm gonna go over here so it connects. All the way through. Oops, I slipped. Hey, that's a little bit better. Okay, maybe slightly off, but it's it's all right for now. All right, so we're gonna talk about how does one point perspective kind of work, okay? First off, it came out of the Renaissance. A bunch of kind of like artists and probably mathematicians kind of wanted a way to be able to draw things to appear as if they're going back in space, okay? Kind of like further on the paper. So what they did was they noticed that everything seems to go to one spot, converge in one spot. So they called that the vanishing point, okay? Vanishing point is on the horizon line. Now we are gonna be designing inside a, a room, so you're not gonna necessarily see that horizon line, okay? Now a couple little tidbits down here. Okay, says the front outline of an object are the flat. Okay, they should match the back of object lines exactly. All outside lines, which I'm gonna go over them, those are the side lines. Okay, they're called orthogonal lines. All right, should go back to the vanishing point, which I'm gonna go over. Draw a light because we will end up erasing. All right, on the walls, I'm gonna show you a couple of things on how to draw here. Okay, and then we're gonna go from there. So first thing, we're gonna start with how tall something is. So we're gonna draw a door. So on the, um, the left-hand side, and when you draw, you kinda of wanna make sure that you are, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, okay? Sorry, it's bumping around, okay? That you're straight right here, okay? So what that means is that we're gonna get a nice right angle. I'm gonna go straight up. This is gonna be our door, how tall the door is. Now, in order to create the illusion, we're gonna take the top of the door and we're gonna connect it to the vanishing point. Everything gets connected to the vanishing point, okay, on the wall. So we're gonna draw that lightly back to the vanishing point, okay? Now we wanna see how wide this is gonna be. This is how tall our door is. I'm gonna go wide. I'm gonna go about here. I'm gonna go straight down. See my door kind of popping through? Next, we're gonna just erase this and you can kind of see a door, okay? Now, we're gonna do a couple of more on here, all right? Now, we're gonna do, let's instead of do a door, let's try a window. So instead of connecting to the bottom, we're gonna go in the middle. Now that's how tall my window is. Let's use that vanishing point and let's connect these points. Corner of this window goes back. Corner of this line goes back. All right, we know how tall this window is. Wide, let's go pretty far. Not all the way to this back wall, right? Cause that back wall, just so you know, it's a different kind of um, connection when we do that. All right, so let's go up and down here, all right? And I'm going to erase these excess lines. You know, I'm actually gonna get a little bit crazier and I'm just gonna erase these, all these lines in this back wall. Beautiful. Now this window, I'm gonna give you a couple tips. First of all, this window can be a TV, a window. Uh, let's see, it could be a poster be a rug okay if we put it on the floor it could be a skylight okay it could be lights 
those long ones, okay? So many things that come from this shape, okay? Uh, if you wanna really make it into feel more of a window, you can put those bars in, okay? But when we go through, so let's say we wanna put that connecting one, connect and through, okay? Just so you know, all right? If you do lines, they get closer as they go further back, okay? So that shape can be all those things, all right? Okay, so let's move on over, all right? Let's connect the corners again. And I'm gonna show you what to do with things that come off the wall, okay? All right. Now, things that come off the wall, right? Could be chairs, could be a couch, could be a table, could be a bed, all right? So we'll put a couple of things, could be a dresser, all right? We'll put a couple of things in this space so you can kind of see what it looks like when we come off the wall. All right, so when we come off the wall, what we want to kind of do is we want to put a flat shape, okay? It's the edge. So over here, we're gonna put, um, let's put dresser. So we're gonna put a, let's put a, like a rectangle here. All right. All right, so we're gonna put a nice little rectangle here. And we're gonna erase this line because this line will be going right through the dresser. So we can't really see that, all right? Now, how do we connect this? How do we get all those different sides? Well, we connect the points that go directly to the vanishing point. So let's go through. Now remember, draw light, okay? So we're gonna connect back to the vanish point, this one to the vanishing point, this one to the vanishing point, okay? Front edge matches the back edge. So I'm gonna go up and down and across. Now I got a lot of extra lines in here. I'm gonna erase this one too. Okay, to kind of give that illusion. And I'm gonna erase the excess lines. You're like, hmm, that's starting to look like something. Looks like it could be stairs. That could be a trunk. That could be almost anything, okay? Just with the added few details. But we're gonna make it be a dresser, okay? So we wanna put a drawer on it. Now, remember how we had over here this little shape, we start with a line and we go back. Well, it can also be a drawer. So let's let's put that little line there. Do exactly the same. Connect back to the vanishing point. And you're gonna cut this line off before the end of the dresser. Okay, and I'm gonna erase the rest. Okay. And I'm just gonna put like a little handles. It's a dresser. Now it's an awfully wide dresser, but it's fine, okay? Um, what else do you guys wanna draw? Should we draw a bed? Yeah, let's draw a bed. So we're gonna do a nice skinny bed. So we'll start off with a rectangle. Okay, make this a twin bed. All right, so we come out, connect this to the vanishing point. Okay, now this one's gonna go up against the wall. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple other things that we can do between the two. Now, this one, you see how that point right there? Okay, I don't think I can zoom in anymore. Oh, I can, excellent. See how that point is right there? That's gonna tell you where the bed's gonna stop. So we're gonna go over and down. That tells us that we're right against the wall. This line, yes, you are correct, would go away as well. So we can kind of see the bed, All right? Let's put in some covers and a pillow. If you wanted to, we could extend this out and we can make the bed go this way. Let's make a shelf on the wall. Same deal. Connect the points that go directly to the vanishing point. 
But this is gonna be a lot skinnier. Oh my heavens. All right. Sorry, racing, okay? So things start off with a flat shape, okay? And then we start connecting. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. This could also be a mirror, okay? All right, so let's go to the next one down, all right? I'm gonna actually show you how to do a table and a chair or a couch or something like that down here, but I wanna talk about the back wall first. Okay, so let's put in our walls here. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I can't see so through this blue ruler. There we are. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the lines on the back wall, okay? Now, anything that's against the back wall is just flat, okay? Just flat. So we have, let's say we had a door back here. The door would be literally flat. That's it. If we had a poster, it's flat. If we had um, a window, it's flat, okay? That's it. Um, where the sides over here, up in here, they're designed with um, the vanishing point in mind. All right, so I wanna do a table and a, like a kind of like a basic couch, okay? So we're gonna do table. I'll put the table in the center of the room, okay? So we start off with the box. Now probably by now you're probably like, oh, this is kind of easy. I know to go back to the vanishing point, go back here, okay? And we cut it off. Now, <clears throat> just because we're not going heavy and tense. When you do legs, okay, longer, a little shorter in the back. That's really it, okay? And a nice, easy couch, okay? This is not, not really all that uh, challenging, but yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna start off with an L. And then you just connect them all back to the vanishing point. Okay. And we kind of go up. I feel like that is really basic. Yeah, it is. It looks okay. You got to kind of erase the excess here. Maybe put some fluffy pillows on kind of adds to a little bit more of the exciting ambience. Okay, so what are we gonna do now with all of these? Okay, so let's go back. What I would like you to do, okay, we're gonna call these a little bit different. We're gonna do this one as um, shape on wall, okay? So let's do side walls. Side walls could be top, bottom, or sides. So side walls. I want you to put four more things, okay? Somewhere on one of these. Back wall, okay? Somewhere on here. I want you to do three more items added to the design, okay? And we're gonna put in room, okay? I'd like you to add three more things into the room. These are the 3D objects that are in there, okay? Um, Last thing is, what do you do when you have objects that are not drawn to the one point perspective? You know what you do? You just draw them. So if you had like fabric, if you had, um, I don't know, trophies, lights and stuff like that, just draw them in. You don't have to worry about them being in one point perspective or anything else, okay? All right, so once you're done with adding these on right here, okay, um, four things on the sidewalls anywhere, okay, that means the top, the bottom, or the sides, okay? Um, back wall, please add three more things. They could be all in the same room or one room. And in the room, I want three more things. You can put them all in this room. You can put another thing in here. You can put another, it doesn't really matter, okay? All right, when you're done, please upload these into Seesaw.